the open telemetry collector. This is an important piece for your distributed tracing initiatives. Spend some time to understand what it is and how we can use this to get data into Honeycomb. Now the collector itself, it's, it's really a telemetry data pipeline service. This functionality can be broken down to three distinct components. We receive data from multiple sources. And once received, the data can be transformed and processed in multiple ways. Finally, exporters are used to export the telemetry data to desired backends. Let's dig into each component, starting with receive. Now, like I said, data can be received in multiple formats, be it Jaeger, Zipkin, Open Census, and even the new Open Telemetry Protocol. Other formats are also supported. You can receive data all at once, and once received, they all get converged down into a single pipeline, and thus enters the process component. Now, this is where data can be filtered, attributes modified, and utility processors to help batch or usher the data through the pipeline, a lot more. Now, all of these processes can be used to refine, and augment, and transform your data to meet your exacting observability requirements. Finally, we enter the export component. Honeycomb certainly provides an exporter to send all tracing data to. You could set up multiple exporters and each will receive an exact copy of that data. Perhaps you're migrating away from Jaeger. With this, you can still send data to Jaeger and Honeycomb while you migrate your users. With the Open Telemetry Collector, you can take and receive data from multiple different inputs, process it, and export it into Honeycomb. It could also work in a scenario where different technologies are used to instrument your different services. Maybe you have some services done using Jaeger, but the future direction is to use the Open Telemetry Protocol instead. Well, the collector will allow you to combine the different formats into a single stream while you work on migrating the other service. Let's take a look at an example of all this in action. So we're going to look at a couple .NET services talking to each other, instrumented with Jaeger sending data through an Open Telemetry collector. And here's our first one. You can see it is instrumented with the Jaeger client right here through the configuration. It's a very simple .NET servers, the simple small values controller on here. Uh, when you call API values, it's going to go ahead and do something, get something from order API, and then return two static strings in an array. Get something from order API itself will make a subsequent call to our second .NET service called orders. Orders, again, is a simple .NET service, but this one makes use of the DB context part of .NET. And inside of this DB context, we say to list. Um, and that function just does a couple static methods in here just to, to manipulate some data around, calls a couple of uh, functions on database, and then returns. Now, because we are using the Open Telemetry Collector instead of Jaeger to get our data, we need to tell Jaeger where to send this data. And our world, Open Telemetry, is running as a Kubernetes uh, service exposed uh, through DNS. And you can see here we're specifying the thrift endpoint. Let's take a look at that collector's configuration. At the top here, you can see we have various receivers defined, the Jaeger receiver for both gRPC and Thrift, OTLP and Zipkin, all listening on a standard 0000 port for Docker. In the processors area, we define the three processors that are recommended by OpenTelemetry itself, batch, memory lim limiter, and query retry. And finally, um, down here for the ex exporters, we're going to see open, uh, the Honeycomb exporter defined at the API key that's passed in as an environment variable, and also the Jaeger exporter. Right here, we have Jaeger also running as a Kubernetes service, and it's exposed on that DNS name. And this is all wrapped up under the service, which kind of puts all these definitions together. So let's go ahead and send some data across. I'm going to start off with hitting our service. It's running on port 8989. API values, let's go ahead and hit that. And just like that, we got those static values string array back, but we've generated a trace. Let's go look for that trace itself. So I've already set up this query here in Honeycomb. Let's go ahead and run it. And when I run it here, there it is, my trace. I can go ahead and click on it and go look at that trace. And you can see here it's full glory in the waterfall chart with all the fields and attributes and span events specified in each one. We go look at one of those database spans and you can see here all the various span events that happened underneath it for the .NET engine. We could also go to Jaeger and do that exact same search and we'll see that exact same trace. 
and the exact same waterfall chart. So as you can see, we could use the Open Telemetry Collector to collect data from Jaeger or really any other distributed tracing stack out there and send it to various different backends.